Hey guys, this is me Hassan and welcome to my channel Hassan Academy. Today we are going to discuss few questions that came uh, IIT J.E. main in 30 January 2024. Day before yesterday. Morning shift. This is morning shift. Okay. Even evening shift, I got few questions I will discuss. So here only I am discussing six question, chemistry questions. Uh, maybe part two and three also will come. So some more questions I will add. And one thing I want to tell here only, these are memory based questions. So if you feel any question is not this way, something wrong or question is different, you can uh, send me email or you can let me know. Okay. So let's start. So first of all, this question, it is the first question came, uh, which one? This one very easy. Okay. This one directly taken from NCRT. That's why I am always telling that go through NCRT, go through NCRT, at least for chemistry. You have to go through every page. Okay. NCRT is very important for chemistry. So this is nothing but which reaction they are asking? Roger Mohn reaction. Okay. Benzoyl chloride, hydrogen in the presence of palladium and barium sulfate you are putting, then you are converted this benzoyl chloride to benzaldehyde. So this is very easy. This chloride is replaced with hydrogen and this is directly coming from NCRT. I will show you. This is NCRT. You can see part 2 plus 12 and page number 362. You can see here. You can see here. I, I hope you can see Rosenmond re uh, reduction or reaction. So this one directly uh, given from NCRT only this reaction. Okay. So whoever is going through I believe if you are a IIT ZEI aspirant, definitely you go through at least this type of important reaction. Okay. Anyway, this is direct question. So Rosenman reduction or reaction, this is very important. After that, which of the following own give failing test? So for failing test, you have to find out reducing sugar. Okay. If it is non-reducing sugar, then it is not going to show failing test. So first one is which one? Lactose. Lactose is disaccharide. It is also called milk sugar. So lactose is reducing sugar. It is definitely showing failing test. They are asking which one is not going to show. Maltose also showing because it is reducing sugar. This is your answer. Sucrose. Sucrose is a non-reducing sugar and it is not going to show failing test. So this is a direct question. I hope everyone correct it. So let's come to question number three. This is one of the easiest question. This is also from uh, it is nothing like NCRT or anything. It is uh, very basic. You should know after double bond, what is the third carbon is there? This is double bond. Okay. After double bond, what is first carbon? This is sp2. This is sp2. After that, what is this carbon? This carbon is called allyl carbon. Okay. Allyl carbon. And here, if it is chlorine or anything is present, this is allyl chloride. If double bond after that directly here only chlorine or anything is present, that is vinyl chloride. So this thing also there in NCRT, I, I should not show actually because these things are common in everywhere. Nothing like NCRT only. Yes, you can see allylic halide. If anyone go through this much also, you can easily find out this allylic halide and this one is directly double bond. X is attached here only. So this is vinylic halide. So this thing are very easy. Aryl halide, allylic halide, vinyl halide. And one thing I want to tell, I think 2023 need 2023 or 21. Somewhere need also this question is came. This question came as it is. They are asking allylic halide only. So after double bond, which carbon is there? If that carbon is attached with any halogen, then it is allylic halide. Let's come to this question. Which of the following compound is most stable? To find out the stability here, you should know one concept. If you know that, you can easily find out. Definitely, they are going to ask in the uh, regarding uh, aromaticity. So, for aromaticity, most stable, how to find out? Which one is more stable? Stability of aromatic stability in case of aromatic or non-aromatic compound. You always remember, aromatic compound is most stable. Most stable is aromatic. After that, after that. If you are thinking anti-aromatic, you are wrong. After that, non-aromatic. After that, non-aromatic. And least aromatic is anti-aromatic. Least aromatic is anti-aromatic. Okay. So after resonance, once resonance conjugation is happening, uh, due to the resonance, aromatic compound losing their energy. Once losing their energy, they are getting more stable. Losing energy means they are getting the stability. But in case of anti-aromatic, after resonance, they are increasing their energy. Once increasing their energy, they are going to least stable. Okay. Or unstable, you can say. So here, let's uh, try to find out. 
here how many electron four electron four pi electron means it is anti aromatic i already said how to find out aromaticity i mean aromatic or non aromatic anti aromatic how to find out this is cyclic compound this is definitely planar cyclic planar then pi electron how many four pi electron so it is anti aromatic this one is non aromatic definitely this all carbons are sp3 other than this all sp3 carbon mean this is directly going to non planar non planar is non aromatic so this is not coming in the point now this one so this type of three membered ring is very important cyclopropane okay cyclopropane if i put double bond cyclopropene okay if i put only here one double bond hope you can see this is cyclopropene if i put here positive charge cyclopropenyl cation if i make it negative charge then cyclopropenyl anion see both option they have given c and d cyclopropenyl cation cyclopropenyl anion what is the difference difference is here only 2 pi electron and here is 4 electron okay because this pi electron is 2 and 2 due to negative charge 2 electron is out here so 2 plus 2 4 electron here is 4 electron here is only 2 electron since 2 electron this is aromatic because you should know one thing 4n plus 2 is equal to pi electron plus non bonding electron here n equal to 0 if you put 0 4 into 0 means how much 0 0 plus 2 equal to 2 if 2 electron then also it is aromatic so one thing you should know this compound is aromatic cyclopropenyl cation due to aromaticity it is most stable only they are asking the most stable so definitely this is your answer and this is anti aromatic again least stable let's come to next question this is one of the easiest question again which of the following set contains both diamond diamagnetic so for diamagnetic if you suppose it is d d block 3d okay 1 2 3 4 5 if everything is filled then you can easily say it is diamagnetic okay if you don't know the other things if you think if you know that all this all the orbital has paired 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 form then it is diamagnetic if you know this option option c is the answer copper 4s1 3d 10 okay if i make cu plus cu plus means one electron gone from s 4s0 3d 10 okay the same thing happen for zinc zinc is how much zinc is 4s2 3d 10 if i read, remove two electron it will be 4s0 3d 10 so in both case cu plus and zinc plus 3d10 3d10 that means they are diamagnetic diamagnetic so this is your correct answer so let's come to last question and this is one of the most uh, important and every year coming like this questions it is uh, uh bsc pair valence electron pair repulsion theory basically they are using inorganic from inorganic this is one of the most uh, important question and frequently asking question why i am saying frequently asking question if you see 30 january 2024 morning shift this compound they are asking if you see evening shift there also brf5 is there and they are asking the shape shape of this compound okay mostly they are asking shape only because they know that uh, doing some calculation you can easily find out their hybridization steric number you can easily find out and from their hybridization uh, i mean geometry you can find out easily from their steric number okay so they are interested to have whether you know their shape or not so how to find out their shape and all i have already said in very easy manner suppose br f5 here what is the central atom obviously bromine bromine has how many electron valence electron 7 out of 7 5 will be suppose 7 electron i am writing like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 out of 7 5 fluorine is making one one bond 1 2 3 4 5 okay five single bond is done with fluorine and two electron is left that is lone pair okay so five single bond is there five plus how many lone pair one lone pair so five plus one six six is the steric number if it is six steric number then definitely geometry is what octahedra but if you make their structure i will draw it i will show you structure how to make geometry will be octahedra but shape you will make br5 1 2 3 4 this is kind of square planar okay so it will be square planar after that how many one more fluorine is there put here one more fluorine what is left one lone pair lone pair put here okay 
so you see here once square planar is here after that this zenith this pyramidal form is happening pyramidal form is happening with this four florin with that above top florin so it is square pyramidal square pyramidal hope you understand i tried to make you understand so this is very important brf5 again and again coming i made before also a video about this at last h2o water water is sp3 hybridized two lone pair two bond pair so oxygen will be here one hydrogen here another hydrogen here two lone pair is there one two so for shape what you need to consider only bond pair ignore the lone pair so one is like this one is like this this is opposite of b b opposite b shape or you can say band shape band or angular band shape they have given band option at so band shape clf3 clf3 chlorine form uh, three bond they are making with three fluorine two lone pair is there three bond pair two lone pair that is five five means trigonal bipyramidal where two lone pair is there so it is going to t shape and sf4 sf4 is c so if i put here s one fluorine here one fluorine here one fluorine top one fluorine below and one lone pair if i put here then this is looks like c so so sf4 is c so hope i i tried my best and hope you understand if you have any doubt you can write in comment section and if you have some more question these are memory based question more question you can send me i will make video definitely kindly do share with your friends so that i will make more and more video thanks thanks for watching